Hello everyone, it's Takuya here, and welcome back to a Hearts of Iron 4 game. For the last couple videos, we've kind of been on a little bit of a Commonwealth binge. We've done New Zealand, we've done Canada, but there was one that everyone was demanding to play that we haven't actually done yet. Australia. A terrible hellscape where it seems like every single piece of wildlife on the continent wants to kill you. And then there's the things besides the Australians. And just like every other Western nation, we also seem to suffer from the Great Depression, though Australia has a tendency to fix theirs with alcoholism, and I can't necessarily blame them. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into things and see just how fun this Australian focus tree actually is. Hey, I'm interrupting to tell you to like the video. At this point, we've done all the Commonwealth nations, so if this video can get 5,000 likes within the first couple days, we're gonna do the daddy of them all, Great Britain. So like the video. Now, admittedly, it's been a couple years since I actually looked at it, so let's go ahead and see. Oh, hey, this actually has a pretty nice one from the looks of it. Wait a minute, what is this? We can fix and improve our economy and it is not bound by a world tension gate? Oh my God, that is so nice. Uh, wait, no, no, uh, never mind, never mind. We need the world to burn before we're allowed to not be depressed anymore. But at the very least, unlike New Zealand, we actually have a significantly more fleshed out focus tree down either path. Like, not gonna lie, there are some pretty fun looking things down here, and even over here. Oh, they even have a special thing for the rats of Tobruk. That's actually really cool. Well, first things first, you know what, UK? Fuck off, not another Gallipoli. Churchill, I'm not gonna let you throw any more of my men's lives away. I'm gonna be doing that myself. Research-wise, we literally only have two research slots, goddammit. So, okay, get some research speed and some production. We're gonna need it. Holy shit, what, really? Is this really all the building slots that I have in my entire country. Are you kidding me? Australia, you're a massive fucking continent. I get that the majority of this is desert, but that's open freaking space. Are you kidding me? We are actually gonna need a Navy in here. So let's go ahead and get two things on a cruiser so we can start developing that a little bit. And yay, fun times. Let's uh, let's, let's go ahead and start. UK, lend lease? Yes, okay, please give me money. And by money, I mean guns, lots of boomy dollars. Do we protect the homeland and do our own thing democratically or do we abandon the Westminster system and uh, get spicy? Well, considering what I am seeing here, I think we're going spicy. All right, boom, that is done. We are not gonna be able to do anything else here until we have more autonomy progress. So that means economy time, I guess. And in the meantime, we have 150 political power. So let's go ahead and go to partial mob. The fact we can do that from the very beginning of the game, that is nice. Oh, and if the UK wants to lend me a whole bunch more guns, I'll accept that. I'm just gonna flush out a whole bunch of units so that I have the guns in the bank. And now for the decision, do we support the center party or do we empower the workers? Well, listen, there's just, there's just such fun things on both of these, it looks like, but there's more on the fascist side. Don't you people judge me. And once again, we can't actually do anything until our politics change. So back to the economy. Fascist assault divisions form already? Wow, okay, that is fast. And there goes Japan after China. All right, all right. Oh, whoa, wait, I was wrong. I can actually go ahead and do this next one. Wait, what? Support the Indonesians against the Dutch. Listen, if you know anything about what the Dutch did historically there, this is probably applicable. Election public demands rearmament. Oh, 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 we can just get it? Yes. Let's go ahead and do that and wait, hold on. How did, did the center party not win the election, but they had the majority? Well, that's just not gonna stand here. Old national referendum, boom. Look at that. Campbell, you, you got some chins there, buddy. There's the Anschluss of Austria. Okay, that is done. Excellent. That's gonna put us above the world tension that we need. Finish this focus. And now, even though we're fascist, now we go and establish the advisory council. Let's figure out what we're gonna do. The answer is, is, is break away, but we need political power, which this will help. Centralist Australia, which is feels weird to be calling ourselves in the center, where we are very clearly not in the center. I guess next step after that, support an Indonesian uprising. Civil War boy is always fun. So let's send some volunteers. You know, I think we're gonna do something different and go down mobile warfare this time because fuck it, why not? Holy shit, as Australia, do we genuinely have an infantry attack genius? This is so strong. And there's the Indonesian order annexing everything else. All right, fantastic. Are they a puppet of mine? No, no, just volunteers. All right, well, at least it's something. And we can kind of fix the Great Depression, sort of. And you know, now that it's April of 1939, I think it's time for the fun to begin. Now to Kingdom, fuck you. I don't want to be in the Allies anymore. What I do want to do is start getting my own little piece of China. Hey, Japan, let's work together. Hey, awesome. We're in the co-prosperity sphere. That's not going to change at all now, is it? I like how that whole thing just gave Japan control of these parts of Indonesia without even asking Indonesia. How pissed are you, Mr. Suharto? You look kind of sour, not gonna lie. Call to arms? Sure, why not? Now you're probably thinking at this point, oh, you're just doing what you did as New Zealand. No, no, we're not. First off, we have way more units than we did as New Zealand. And with more units and more war participation, that means that we're gonna be able to take significantly more territory and uh, kind of do our own thing, if you will. Ah, and there goes the Poles with the Germans. Oh, Shanxi is gone. Oh, 
okay, okay. They're starting to make some progress up here in the north. Excellent. There we go. Wipe him out, wipe him out. Just clear him out now, boys. The more of these that we can destroy, the better. Oh yeah, I forgot. Now that we're finally at war, we can go on and start fixing our economy. Wonderful. Let's go, let's go. More trapped. Wipe him out, wipe him out. Next up on here, squash the squander bugs. Get rid of that. Increase our production even further. We're securing a staging point down here in the south. All right, come on, come on, come on. Trap him, trap him, trap him. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Can we make it? No, damn it. Okay, not doing that. Fight, work, or perish. All of you will perish. Come on, we are burning through our manpower. Come on, we got to take as much territory as we possibly can. Aha, there it is, 1941 light tank. A member of my Discord showed me something here this past weekend and it is uh, truly broken. Get ready for the fun. The thing about light tanks is that when you go in to look at them, they hardly have any armor whatsoever, but they are fast, that is the point. And depending on what type of enemy that you're gonna be fighting, different types of tanks are gonna be more useful. For example, this broken little bullshit. We'll go ahead and get an advanced light tank chassis, slap on a simple close support gun because this is something that focuses more on artillery and soft attack damage than anything else. A oh, three-man turret for the extra breakthrough. Improve range. Video, and then normally in this situation, we go on and go, oh, well, we, we, we'll get like sloped armor or something, except armor on a light tank doesn't really do all that much. So that's kind of pointless. Instead, we do anything we possibly can to add on more soft attack. And there goes Yunnan. All right, seizing even more supplies. Oh no, I'm out of manpower. I'm actually out of manpower. Crap, okay, this, this, is, this is a little bit of an issue. And there it goes. Finally, that took so much longer than it should have. And there we go, out of all this, what do we get? Another case of a little puppet in the South. That's it. Next up on here, be even more sneaky and devious. Ah, uh, yes, wouldn't be Australia if we weren't looking for aliens in the outback. Oh, Germany, you seem to be having a bit of a fun time here. Oh, what's this, Japan? Are you calling us into war against the Philippines? Uh, no, you have fun with that, buddy. And now it's a good thing we got a Chinese puppet so that our industry can just pump out unlimited manpower. Oh, what's this, Japan? Are you going after the rest of Indonesia? Oh, oh, how tragic, how tragic for you, man. Actually, wait, no, hold on. Indonesia is independent from the Dutch. Since they're independent from the Dutch, that means that means that they're not declaring war on the allies. Oh shit. Australian women's army service, because you know there's nothing scarier than an Aussie woman. Service by requirement, everyone in the army, go, go, go. We're gonna recruit some men. Wait, what is this? December, 1942, is Rome already falling? Wow, okay, did not expect that. Once again, getting a little oil greedy, you'd think. Ah uh, yes, who can forget the Australian Blitzkrieg? You know, Japan, it's 1943. You would think that if at this point, you would have had an easier time breaking into the Philippines. Oh, Turkey joins the allies. Uh, this is probably not working out so well for you right now, Germany. I haven't even done anything though. Romania, my God, you are stealing everything over here now, aren't you? All right, listen, it's March of 1944. This is getting ridiculous. Japan, you can't seem to do shit down here. So I think I'm just gonna be, just, just be a little sneaky here. Yeah, you know, you never expected this from Australia. Unlimited Chinese manpower. Well, it looks like the justification is complete. Now the Indonesian order joins the allies. Oh, we want to be in the allies? Of course I want to be in the allies. Australia was always part of the allies. What, you, you thought that we were gonna do anything different? No. We just spent the last three years building up a massive supply of manpower is all. Come on, keep on, keep, keep up the attack, keep up the attack. Surround and destroy, surround and destroy. There we go, that's all of them surrounded in Hanoi. Oh, bitch, it ain't working out well for you now, is it? Throw your lives away, throw them for the motherland, for the fatherland, for the kangaroos. We, we, we throw them for the kangaroos. Oh, we're just moving so goddamn fast, they can't stop us, they can't stop us. Fear the dingo. Are we throwing our men's lives away? Yes. Are they losing a lot more than us? Also, yes. Oh, it doesn't feel nice to be in circle from the other side now, does it, Japan? Does it? Listen, okay, we are doing a lot. We're doing quite a lot here, I would say. All right, there we go. Surround and destroy, surround and destroy. Just keep on going. The more we can whittle them down, the better. Go, go, go. We got this, boys. We got this. Let's take it. Oh, yeah, you know, there goes Bangkok, which means there goes Siam. Nothing like saying the dingo ate my Bangkok. Now for the final push. Go, go, my brothers. Fight, fight and die. For the glory of the Rue. Listen, some of you may die, but that is a sacrifice that I am perfectly willing to make of a million Chinese people. This could be really bad taken out of context. There goes my Kukuo. All right, all right. They had like no equipment left whatsoever. We are bleeding each other dry. Eh, typical to happen in Asia. There goes the reorganized government of China, which had nothing. The entire country was composed of nine trucks. That is it. Clearly the DMZ between the North and the South was meant to protect them from the kangaroos because they're hungry. And there goes my Kukuo. All right, with them falling, that means we can go ahead and clear all this out. And the hungry little dingo dogs are going to go and finish things off. Oh, wow. The Germans are actually kind of holding out here. Oh, wait. Nope. Never mind. There's D Day. What do you mean my war sport is going down? It's not like we sacrificed the majority of our population or anything. Huh. You know, there's something absolutely terrifying about this image. Can't quite put my finger on it, but it is kind of terrifying. Oh, hey, look. It looks like a little mini Oz. 
Australia. Isn't that cute? And there goes Japan. Well, that means it's time for the Australians to shine, if you will. Naturally, we didn't do all that much during World War II, but we were the ones to dominate Asia through backstabbing. So I think it's time we go and reap the rewards of that, if you will. And there we go. Isn't that absolutely a beautiful world? I got kicked from the Allies too. Well, good luck with that, buddies. And now listen. The Japanese can make all the anime they want from their studio in China starring koala bears. Everyone, this has been Stakuyu with the Hearts of Iron 4 playthrough. Thank you very much for watching. This was a fun little backstabbing campaign that was really enjoyable to just do. I hope that you enjoyed it as well, and please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. At this point, we have now done all the Commonwealth nations, so if this video can get 5,000 likes, then we will go ahead and do the daddy of them all, Great Britain. Extra daddy powers intensify. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you have a good rest of your day, and goodbye.